He was a high ranking Seguin police officer accused of using his stun gun not once, but six times on his own girlfriend. Cuff my wrists, cuff my ankles, anything. I will do anything. Just take the taser out. Months after pleading no contest to a reduced charge, Eric Jimenez landed a job at the top of city government in a town just 60 miles away. As the night team's Dylan Collier reports, the people who hired Jimenez say they had no idea about his criminal history. A warning, what you're about to see could be disturbing to some of our viewers. <laughs> When he drinks, he does things that he doesn't remember the next day. This Texas Rangers footage has never been seen publicly until now. It was recorded in late September 2016, just days after then Seguin Police Lieutenant Eric Jimenez informed his department he'd been forced to use his department-issued taser to stop his live-in girlfriend from hanging herself in a closet. The couple had been fighting at her house in Cibolo within days. I know to put my chin down um, to keep my air. The woman provided interviews to Seguin police. And he hit me in the head so many times over and over and over and over again. And also the Rangers revealing a possible pattern of abuse. I said, I'm done. I'm done. Please stop. I'm done. I'm done. Please stop. That culminated with the woman being tasered six times by Jimenez over a 34 minute period of time including on her stomach and chest, leaving blood evidence throughout much of her property. I'm not asking you to surrender. I think you just need to learn your lesson, and then you hit the taser again. While prosecutors at first contemplated charging Jimenez with a felony, he was booked that October for misdemeanor family violence causing injury. Her story doesn't add up. Her stories don't add up. And although Jimenez's attorney tried to claim his client didn't break the law or department rules, Jimenez resigned from the force. But I never felt like anybody would believe me. The victim, who participated in the early stages of the criminal investigation, stopped cooperating with prosecutors, which forced them to reduce the family violence charge to assault by contact. As part of the plea agreement, Jimenez had to surrender his peace officer's license. Six months later, in the fall of 2017, Jimenez was able to get the reduced charge dismissed. The decision was made to hire somebody to run the city. Reynaldo Anzaldúa is a former Poteet City Council member who was part of the elected body that chose in December 2017 to hire Jimenez as their city administrator. Anzaldúa now says he and other council members walked into that decision blindly. Our assumption at the council level was that the city had a background check uh, process in place because there's, there was a background check for other employees that were hired uh, for the water department, for uh, utilities, that kind of thing. Months after Jimenez's hiring, details about his record started to emerge. And according to Anzel Dua, so did information that city staff had failed to do any vetting of his criminal history whatsoever. Poteet City Secretary last week confirmed that there is no background check in Jimenez's employment file. A second former council member who voted to hire Jimenez says the group was unaware he'd even been involved in a criminal case. Ansel Dua says the footage being made public could alter Jimenez's future in Poteet. With that out, that will change the dynamics, I think, in my opinion, because that those are some serious allegations. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Jimenez did not respond to repeated requests for comment for this story. His contract, by the way, expires in early December in Poteet. The victim, his former girlfriend, declined to be interviewed, saying she's worked hard to put this ordeal behind her.